Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm gonna show you some beautiful cottons that I bought and I also wanted to thank you for the wildly kind response to my makes video <laughs> with my tantrums interspersed throughout. Um, I'm not gonna put the ruffle on the quick sew dress. I will just leave it and I have moved on to greener pastures. I'm auditioning dresses for my mob dress. That stands for Mother of the Bride. And I've made two so far. They're not right for the wedding. However, I may end up with a bunch of new sundresses. I kind of keep airing on the side of two casual. But that's okay because we're going to the beach in April, yes! And I'll just take a bunch of new sundresses. So um, I'll roll everything that I make into February makes and you can see all of these mob dress auditions. Haven't hit upon the perfect one. I really do appreciate everyone who said, hey, just go buy a dress. But there's a little bit of a problem with that. Everything I've looked at, and trust me, you know me, I will look at things online for hours, if not days. And um, the beautiful party dresses and formal dresses and evening wear are very heavy on beaded or sequined or very uh, fancy brocade and they don't quite match what my vision is. Plus, I'm very fussy about what length I want this dress to be. I don't want it to be long and I don't want it to be short. So it's not quite as easy as, hey, just click a couple buttons and order a dress because I'm not really seeing anything that's jumping out at me that looks like me. I could wear something super fancy and opulent like I see, but I might not really feel like myself. I tend a little more toward plain, simple lines, uh, nothing shiny or twinkly, I don't think. Never say never. But anyway, I do appreciate all of your um, suggestions and just the fact that you've taken an interest and you're helping me out because it does help me out. I love to hear your points of view and um, a lot of times I run with your ideas. So keep them coming and let me show you these beautiful cottons. Now um, I did a video about sewing with Rayon Shally. Someone asked me if I could do one about sewing with crepe de chine. I definitely can. And my favorite, maybe everyone's favorite, is cotton. How can we not love cotton? It's a natural fiber. It's a breeze to sew. It comes in all kinds of thicknesses. You can go with a very light cotton, like a voil. You can go with a heavier cotton, like a broadcloth. They can put spandex in it, make it a little stretchy. Everything I'm gonna show you today is quilting cotton. And I love to sew clothing with quilting cotton. And I'm really excited because a couple of these pieces were a lot wider than 45 inches. That's the standard width for quilting cotton. And um, 44, 45 inches wide is not very wide if you're used to 58, 60, and even more for your fabric width. So that's something to consider when buying um, quilting cotton. You're gonna need to get a little more yardage depending on what you wanna make. So these quilting cottons came from, I'm pretty sure all of them except maybe one, they all came from fabric.com. And they're all the beautiful premium brands, Art Gallery, Robert Kaufman, Cloud9, Riley Blake, Dear Stella, you know, the, the, the nice, 
higher level quilting cottons, which I would never buy at full price. But Act Fast Friday, and by the way, Friday is tomorrow. Act Fast Friday sales make it possible to score this beautiful stuff at half price. So that's, that's how I acquired all of mine. Let's get into it. First, we have a Robert Kaufman. I just absolutely loved these colors. I'm kind of drawn to mauves and pinks and lighter purples, and that's got it all. That's just a really pretty floral. It is called Vibrant Blooms, designed by Shannon Newland for Robert Kaufman. Next up is, I guess this one kind of took me back to my sewing days of high school. We just have a very sweet uh, floral, maybe even a ditzy floral, little tiny flowers, but I thought it was awfully pretty and I could see a sundress out of that. Well, anything really. I mean, you can make anything out of cotton. Little summer sleeveless tops, shorts, pants, skirts, you name it. This one, I believe, has a little bit of linen mixed into it. And did I remember what this was? Biloba by Stoffa Fabrics. Okay, so Stoff, I learned from fabric.com, is... Is it French or Danish? I'm sorry, I can't remember which, but it is a beautiful brand of cotton. And this one has little tiny blips of gold in it, in the design. So that one is not pure cotton. I think it has a little bit of len linen blended in. This is a Robert Kaufman and it has also more than blips of gold, it's got a lot of gold in it. And it's got a bit of a sheen, that gold is a little bit shiny. And I just loved that blue background. So I mean, really, cotton doesn't always have to be casual. Your cotton sateens and anything with a, a little bit of a sheen to it like this can be very, very dressy. But this is a quilting cotton and that is 45 inches wide. This one's just kind of a playful uh, picnic by Marble Tan for Paintbrush Studio Fabric. Light yellow. I don't know, it just looks like a spring day to me. And these cottons are so lovely. They're very, very soft, tightly woven. Some of them have really cute little selvages like that one. And I love yellow. This is a Robert Kaufman. It was designed by Anna Graham. And I sewed my daughter-in-law, Anna, who is married to Graham. Hence, Anna Graham. I had to do it. I sewed Anna a little top out of this and I used the selvage, which it's probably cut off. Yeah, look, I cut it, <laughs> I cut it out, but it said Anna Graham right there, and so I incorporated that into the top. You can see that on my Instagram account at Viv Mom Sews if you wanna take a look at that. This does have linen in it. It's a 45, 55 mix, I believe, of linen and cotton, and this one came from Hawthorne Supply Company, as did this one. And I loved this bright citrus. This is called Breakfast in Bed by Alicia Jacobs. Alicia Jacobs for Michael Miller Fabrics. Citrus, I don't know. It just spoke to me. I think it's all the pinks and oranges. Love pink and orange together. Here's a really pretty butterfly print in blues and white. 
And um, this one does not have a fancy selvage, so I don't know if it's a fancy brand, but I thought it was very pretty. And I'm not crazy about butterfly fabric as a rule, but that one, that one was okay in my book. Uh, this is adorable. This is Robert Kaufman, and look at that. It's windows. Windows with a brown, kind of a burnt caramel background with flowers, pink flowers. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. I want to find the selvage now and read it. Oh, this is, no, wrong one. Ah, here it is. This is Wish Well by Robert Kaufman. So I thought that one was awfully cute. I'm thinking about a dress for summer. And these last two, I believe, are Stoff. And the bonus was they are much wider than 45 inches. They're like 60, but they're still quilting cottons. So this says France. Um, I guess Stoff is French. But apparently in the quilting world, you can get quilting cotton in these super wide widths, maybe for backings on quilts. Look at that print. I fell in love with that. And all those colors and it's super, super wide. So I didn't have to buy as much and I can get probably a midi length dress out of that. Maybe something with a ruffle. Gorgeous. All of these cottons, I did not pay more than $6 a yard. At full price, they're a little pricey. I'm saving the best for last because I just absolutely flipped when I got it. It is by Stoff. And yes, France, Stoff, France. Now look at this. Great big scale print, which I love. This one is also 64 inches wide, I believe. And it has a little bit of a coarser texture, almost like a linen. I don't think there is linen in it, but you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of a Mary Mecco print. And those are, ooh, 40 to $50 a yard for Mary Mecco. So this was an absolute steal by Stoff, and I love it. And it is 100% cotton. So those are my beautiful cottons. I made a dress today out of this uh, stretch satin. It actually has some stretch in it. It's an interesting print because it's got this wide swath of black going down the middle. So I had to be a little creative as to how I cut it. Um, I'm not gonna wear black to the wedding, but of course there is the rehearsal dinner to think about. And I made the dress. I think I like it. I don't know. I'll show it to you and you can see what you think. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep sewing, just keep putting these things together. I'm actually gonna attempt a Vogue pattern next and it's a designer pattern. It says easy. And I said to Brad, I was showing him something on it. And I said, don't pay attention to that easy rating. Untold numbers of seamstresses have been fished in by Vogue. And to be fair, some of the other ones will rate the pattern easy. And you get into it and you just about want to pull your hair out. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be super difficult, but I know it's not going to be easy. I've got that cut out. I ran out of fabric and I thought, oh, no problem. I'll just hop on Fashion Fabrics Club and order some more and they were sold out. So I had to turn the fabric and really squeeze in um, 
the bodice. I had to put a seam in the bodice. So, eh, we'll see. We'll see what we get in the end. I hope everyone's doing well and we're sliding into the weekend. That's always nice. We're big on UVA basketball and we are on an absolute high. After they beat Duke at Duke and they also whipped up on Miami. So <laughs> we were just screaming our heads off the other night. They played Georgia Tech on Saturday and uh, I hope they can keep their winning streak going. But anyway, that doesn't have anything to do with sewing. I hope you're all doing well. And thanks again for your great reply and, and response to the last two videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.